Hi, what is up YouTube? So in the past two years, I've had a lot of uh, issues with my car. I had a uh, engine overheated. I had to get that replaced and then the transmission went out. I had to get it replaced and after that the transmission went out again, which I also had to replace. So it's been a lot of uh, issues on the car and uh, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, heat related. So in order for me to keep an eye on the temperatures or the, the ultra gauge, so this device basically allows you to monitor your car's information, your engine RPM, coolant temperature, your oxygen sensor readings, intake manifold pressure, and anything your car will support. Basically, uh, any car with an OBD2 port will support it. Decent presentation. And we have a warning, as you can see. And next we have the device itself. So here is the cable, the OBD2 port connector, so we're going to take a look at this in a second. So I opted for this mounting option. So I can put it on the dash. I'm probably not going to use them, but uh, we will see. So these two will come with it if you order the mounting uh, kit. Otherwise, you will only have this part right here, along with the, the clip. I'm new to this, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. So I have the website open right here. So congratulations on your receipt of UltraGate. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the user manual. So as you can see here, they have two versions of uh, the UltraGate. They have the EM Plus and the MX. So I went with the MX because apparently it has more functionalities that the um, the EM Plus doesn't support. I mean, that's vice versa because the EM also have uh, functionalities that the MX do not support. So I read somewhere that the uh, MX is able to display transmission uh, temperature readings. So I went with the user manual for the ultra gauge. And here we go. So here is a close look of the device. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Nice looking screen. I'm surprised of the size, it's really small. And here is the back. You have your up and down buttons and the menu button along with a slot not sure what this is but it's removable all right it comes with uh, 70 inch cable. I think this is long enough for most cars. An OBD2 connector. Any car from 1996 and up will support this. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook this up to the car and see what it can do. So I'm gonna connect that to the OBD2 port.
So the car is running. All right, 11 bit can found. Discovering gauges down for safe, whatever. Fifty-eight gauges. So this is a a fourth gen Rav4, a 2016, and it has fifty-eight gauges supported. Obviously, you can uh, uh, configure your own M gauges for transmission, temperature, and uh, more. You just have to find the uh, codes for every reading. I didn't find the codes for this car. I don't know if it's available or not. I will add more information in the description if uh, I find more information before uploading this video. The only thing I was able to find was for the Land Cruiser and uh, uh, the Tacoma and other trucks, not for this uh, SUV. RAV4. No information regarding transmission temperature. I already created the M gauge custom mode for this transmission as you can see on the top right. TRA that's supposed to be the transmission temperature in Fahrenheit and as you can see it says error because uh, the code is wrong. I used the, the code for Toyota Tacoma I think just to test it obviously it's not gonna work so let's go ahead and go through the settings for a little bit I haven't had too much time on it so I may just skip a few things but here are your settings you basically long press the menu button on the back and it take you to the settings and you have gauge page slash menu you can hit the menu button again to select and on the other side you have your up and down button basically three buttons to control the device and you can go to down or up so let's select select gauge page menu to select and within that you have select gauges and this is where you uh, choose what information you want to display on each page it's a uh, very intuitive and you have up to seven pages page one menu to select and as you can see you have all the gauges that the course supports right here and you basically scroll on each settings let's say our uh, percentage engine load that's going to display the engine load and percentage and the 4 next to it means that it's going to be on the 4th uh, area of the screen and you decide how many items you want to have on the screen if you choose 8 on the screen at a time you're going to have this separated you're going to have 2 on the top left 2 on the top right and so forth so you're going to have coolant temperature in 1 this means that the coolant temperature would be the first information on the screen that's basically what it means and to edit that you can just select it and you use the up and down button to assign a number to it so if you assign it to six it's going to be on the sixth uh, area of the screen and you also decide how many information you want to have per page and for that you go to let's go back and you select page settings and you can select page display format and as you can see you can scroll through here page one how many uh, values you want to display on page one you can press the menu button to change as you can see six main six gauges would be displayed on page one or you can choose eight or four 
if you want it to be a uh, big for vision purposes four would be uh, nice I only use this for just a few uh, gauges I'm mostly interested in the coolant temperature the engine oil temperature the transmission temperature maybe engine load I can just use a six item per page setting and just add those six information on the page and have it there I don't touch it basically here the only disappointing part is the fact that I don't have the ability to display the transmission temperature which is basically what I bought this for I mean if you also are able to find this code please share them in the comments it would be greatly appreciated gauges and pages and next we have the M gauge setup this is where the good stuff are located you have up to eight M gauge settings to set up for custom uh, readings let's say you choose the M gauge one you hit select and now you can come down here and you can edit the name of it if it was a uh, oxygen sensor temperature you can name it whatever you want ox1 whatever and you can assign a second abbreviation to it which is basically the uh, the unit here it's in uh, Fahrenheit but unfortunately I wasn't able to find the right codes to set it up to display the temperature of the transmission so this is basically the codes for a Toyota Tacoma I found on YouTube. Let's go ahead and uh, exit. So basically, if you want to set up a custom M gauge, this is where you do it. You just come here, you Google the information, you name it, you assign a unit to it, and then you add the information here. And every time, you will have the reading on your home screen. So that's basically it and you can unassign odd gauges or you can load default gauges to basically undo your changes it's a very very nice device i like the way it looks it's really really small as you can see you can have this on your dash anywhere it's, it's not in the way and it doesn't look terrible like the scan gauge i was about to get the scan gauge but for some reason i ended up liking this one better if I knew I wasn't going to be able to find the codes for it, I would have stuck with the uh, scan gauge. It's uh, bigger and uh, it looks weird, but this one, I think this one looks a lot better than the scan gauge. I'm probably going to end up uh, getting the scan gauge for the transmission temps. The only problem I have with the ultra gauge is the the permanent wire attachment so if you ever damage the wire you can end up like having to get you a brand new unit altogether or maybe DIY it fix it maybe and also their website needs a lot of work you know the it just looks odd it doesn't look professional you have hard time finding what you're looking for and it's uh it just lacks the community behind it i don't know if uh too many people have it enough to go ahead and create a community where people can tune in and share all the information they have about it so you end up just looking up googling and finding just bits and pieces all over the internet which i think is fine but you know for uh, more in-depth information about this device you I think you're gonna struggle to find it because just not too many people have it it seems but other than that it's a great device as you can see it's slick it's well built it feels uh, good quality it looks like something that is gonna last you know and uh, yeah it's sad that I'm not able to find uh, codes for what I need so since then I have a uh, six page settings on the home screen as you can see I have the engine temperature 
a transmission that I'm not able to display uh, the, the, the speed the battery voltage the engine load and the distance to empty in miles which I think isn't too accurate but uh, I know that I have to um, to do some learning on it I have to give it more information about the car so it can get it right and it has a lot of settings you have your fuel menu so I'm just gonna scroll through the settings so you can see what it has you have empty fuel tank fuel fill up I guess these are if you uh, want to help the computer get the readings more accurate you can tell it whenever you fill up whenever you have a, a empty tank and all that it's gonna help the device read the data correctly and as you can see estimate fuel level let's go to vehicle setup you can set up your engine size your fuel tank size you have calibrations and you can calibrate your mpg slash fuel you can reset it you can calibrate distance really intuitive a ve not sure what this is enable map only rpm map only you have force protocol you have more force protocol so you have automatic discovery let's go to more so here is the power settings your maximum torque and efficiency and let's go back it has a lot of settings for a device this size and you have ultra gauge settings you have your version save and restart restore all to default factory test compatibility inject the cutoff nice you can also change the display settings if you want to change the screen brightness as you can see it's a backlit you can change the brightness you can change the intensity it also has a, a photo resistor I think this is it on the corner right here it dims the screen according to how bright it is so if you get in a tunnel and it's uh, super dark it's gonna dim you can adjust the contrast you can also set up alarms let's say you want to be alerted when your transmission reaches a certain temperature you can set it right here and you have also trouble codes this is very very nice if you don't have a, a scanner which I have right here this is the D8BT from X2 you can also use this to uh, clear your engine lights read your uh, trouble codes read the pending codes also really nice and that's about it on the settings it's uh yeah what can I say it's a nice device I'm just uh, disappointed that there isn't uh, a huge community behind it and uh, I created a a subreddit to see if people are um, participating I'm pretty sure it's gonna flop because it just seems like people aren't interested in it but I think that it's a great device it deserves more attention than what people give it but uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comment section and again if you have any information on the codes for a gen 4 not just a gen 4 for any uh, car that you want to share with the community please drop it in the comment section uh, thank you for watching guys I will see you on the next video peace out 
so I'm gonna check and see how accurate this uh, ultra gauge MX is when it comes to the temperature of the engine coolant so yesterday I tried it and the fans kicked on at 203 degrees Fahrenheit so today I have the X2 D8 BT hooked up to the car and I'm monitoring the temperature of the coolant and the engine so I'm gonna go ahead and see at what temperature the fans are gonna kick on so if it kicks on at 203 degrees I know that uh, this guy is uh, accurate because I know the X2 would be the most accurate of all 199 degrees Fahrenheit Right, 201 all right so we have 203 degrees all right 203 degrees and the fence kicked on the ultra gauge is ultra accurate as you can see the fans kick on at the same exact temperature so we are good <laughs> 